Hi guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import full RSS content with images to your WordPress website using Fidzi. To begin, we'll hover over plugins and click on add plugin. And next we'll search for Fidzi and we'll install and activate this one. So this is how you install the free version of Fidzi. So here we have a setup guide that you can follow if you want to. If not, you can always just go back to your dashboard. Now for our tutorial, we'll need Feedsy's pro version. So once you purchase the upgrade, you can then download and install the plugin you receive in your Themal account. Simply go to plugins, then add plugin, click on upload plugin, then drag and drop your zip file here and click on install now. Next, you'll activate the plugin and then you'll be ready to access Feedsy's pro features. Okay, so today we're gonna be importing an RSS feed. And we can start from this dashboard by clicking on this button, import your first feed right here, or we can simply click here to import posts. At the top, we'll click on new import. Next, we'll need to name our imports. I'm gonna call mine finance feed. The next step is to get your feed URL. I'm gonna go ahead and get mine, which is from Finmasters, which is a good resource for financial tips and guides. So I'm gonna copy the URL and go back and paste it in this field and we'll type in feed at the end to get a working feed. Okay, so next we're gonna click on the plus icon to add the feed. We can see that it's valid with 10 items found. So we can move on to the next tab, which is filters. So we can use this if we want to import our feed based on various conditions. If you need to, feel free to add a condition and then go ahead and configure it. However, we won't need to for this example, so I'm gonna remove this condition and we're gonna to proceed to the next tab, which is map content. So here I'm gonna keep the post type as post. For post taxonomy, we're gonna keep it on auto. However, if you want to, you can select a taxonomy from this list. And then we have post status, which we're gonna keep as publish. We'll keep the mapping for post title and post date the same. But for content, if we were to keep item content, Feedsy will only fetch the description and the other fields that you have selected. So in this case, we want to remove item content. We'll click on the plus and let's go ahead and use item full content. If you want, you can add actions to your tag. Click on add new and select the action that you want to add. Since we don't need this, I'm going to go ahead and skip actions. Moving on, we're going to keep the default featured image option and we'll go to our general feed settings. So here we can choose the number of items we wanna import. We can set a schedule and configure fallback images. We'll keep these the same and save our settings. And we now have this import configuration on our dashboard. We'll go ahead and click on run now. And that's gonna begin importing the 10 items from our feed source. That process could take a few seconds to a few minutes to complete. We'll see this message once it is done. I'm gonna refresh the page and then we'll see a detailed breakdown of what was imported. So to view our import, we'll need to go to posts. We'll hover and click on all posts. And here we'll see all of the posts on our website. But if we hover over them, we'll see which ones were imported by Feedsy. So here's one from our import. And as we can see, this is the full content with images. So I really hope you found this video helpful. Comment down below and let us know which feature you'd like to see covered next. Thanks for watching and see you next time.